Hi, I'm Dan Shortridge uh, here for Anything Once in the News Journal. We're here at T.S. Smith's and Sons Orchard near Bridgeville, and we're gonna uh, show you how to pick some apples, sort them, grate them, and pack them. What's the best technique to do it? One hand, an apple in each hand, or to do it? It depends how the apples come at you, you know, if they're in clusters. If there's a cluster of three, I don't want, sometimes when you pick one, the other two are fall, so you, okay. you don't want that. Keep so. it there. To maximize our time to get that bin full, to get our 15 bucks, we don't want too many to go on the ground because you're not allowed to get them off the ground. Uh, we've been in business 104 years. The business was established by my great-grandfather in uh, 1907. Uh, myself and my two brothers, Tom and Matt, are the fourth generation to work the farm. This process really starts uh, back in March. When we, uh, or even before that, we'll prune the trees in the winter in January and February. So I really put uh, nine months into what you see here. This is the finished product. And that's why I was so fussy with Dan. It only takes a few seconds to ruin nine months worth of work. If he drops my apples into the bottom of that wooden crate and bruises them, and they're no longer fit for the fresh market, I have to send them to the processor. But he did a pretty good job today. It's really hard to remember not to drop them because that's kind of your instinct. You want to let them go as quickly as possible to move on to the next apple. Each crate, that holds 18 bushels of apples, approximately 750 pounds. Um, and they're picked in the three quarter bushel sack there that Dan was using. For Dan, it would take about half a day to fill that, but for one of my, my regular pickers, they could do it about an hour. I'm just tending God's garden, so to speak. Uh, and and um, it's my passion, it's been my passion all my life. 